If you are a firewall engineer, 60% of your time would be spent on creating firewall policies. To create the firewall policies, first you need to configure the interfaces. So today I will show you what are the best practices for configuration of interfaces and firewall policies in the organization. So today we will touch interfaces. In interface we will configure aggregate VLAN and then we will go to create the objects. We will create network objects, we will create service object we'll create groups and then finally we will create three firewall policies so let's go to my screen and continue these are the vlans that we have to create you can see by default when you buy the checkpoint all the eight interfaces are part of lan switch in our case i want lan 7 and 8 should be part of aggregate why i want to configure the aggregate because in organization redundancy is very important and if you do not provide the redundancy and take an example uh, port 7 you are using for LAN and something happened to port 7 all the users are not able to do anything your traffic will be stopped so it is always recommended to configure the redundancy in our case we will use LAN 7 and LAN 8 and we will put it in aggregate let's do that you have two ways to take out these two interfaces out of LAN switch and what is that edit LAN 1 switch uncheck LAN 7 and apply you can see LAN 7 is out of LAN 1 switch. The, another way to take any port out of the switch is right click on the interface, click on add it and go here and say unassigned, apply. So you have seen two ways to take the interface out of the switch. You can use any one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the aggregate. So that is this option bond link aggregation. You need to go to new and then select bond link aggregation. We will just add these two interfaces in our aggregate and we are not going to give any IP address so we will say unassigned and here I will give it a name aggregate for LAN okay that's it why I have not given any IP address because I'm going to create the VLANs so we will manage our different network from the VLAN so we are not going to give IP to either aggregate or to LAN interface let's go here create the VLAN let me share again what we have to do. So we have to create these four VLANs. You can take screenshot. So client VLAN ID, I will say, okay, 100. And from here, I will say this is part of this aggregate. The aggregate, this one, we just created LAN bond. And the IP address 10.10.10. .10 .10 then let's give one and then slash. Okay, you, can, you have already submitted mask here. So we use uh, first IP address and then the uh, it should start from to the DSCB range. Advanced here I will give the name wired client because you have two type of client wireless and wired. So this is wired apply. Let's create another VLAN. We need to create four VLANs. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so you can see these are our VLANs server printer client okay let's go to access policy you can see here we have last time selected standard which is default and if you want to see what are the policies you can see outgoing policies and incoming policies so we have two type of policies and you can see there are a lot of default policies here and my internet is working but the best practice is always use strict mode in the companies strict mode is block all traffic by default so let's select the block all traffic click apply so you can see my internet is not working so my internet has dropped immediately these things has to be set up when you just got the firewall so this is the first thing that you have to do before going to configure the security policy let's go to the policy now you can see that there is no policy where I can go to internet. That's why my internet is not working. Let's fix my internet first. So first of all, I need to create the object, address object. And uh, for that, you need to know what is the range for your Wi-Fi. So you go here, device wireless and add it. From here, you come to know that 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi has 192.162.1 subnet, 2.0 of course and then 5 gigahertz as 3.0 subnet. So let's go to user and object, go to network object, click on new, select the IP range and put the IP here 192.168.2.3. Object name, Netherlands firewalls, go to access policy, policy, let's create one policy on top. So outgoing access to internet, okay. 
So here we need to select here wireless network, destination is internet, everything I want to access, apply. Okay, so now my internet should work. Let's go here and check if internet is working. So now internet is working. So the first policy is client to internet where we will only allow techguru4u.com. It means all the internet will not work. Let's do that. New on top, wireless network, and here my domain, application any, accept, apply. Okay, uh, for this, we need to disable this one. Otherwise, everything will still be working. So I will disable that. Okay, now we have only one policy. So if we go to here, open Bing, and you can see Bing will not open definitely. Let me open my website. So you can see my website is working. That's great. Let's go to the second policy, which is client want to access to printer over this port 9100 and 9102. Now to create this policy, we need to first go to object and then services and first check, always check if service is already there or not. See service is not there. 9102 is also not there. Do not directly go ahead and create the service. First, always check. So in our case, service is not there. So we will create the service and we will say service uh, 9100291102. Okay, it is a TCP and then I'm going to give port. You can see here, it has given example. If it is a range, then five to eight. So we will also do the same 9100291102. I mean it contains three port number 9100, 9101 and 9102. That's it. Let's configure these all four network in the address object because we have to create the policy. So I will go again here, network objects, new, so network address 10.10.10.0. Seven mask, 552552 dot and the name is uh, client or wired client right that was the name wired wired client okay let's create another so you can see from here we have already created domain name network and also IP range only one thing is left which we have not created single IP let's also create that suppose we have one server in server VLAN and its IP is 10.10.30.30. Object name is, we can say it as a tech guru server. Okay. Okay, that's it. Allow DNS to resolve the object. I don't have any DNS, so I will not select that. Okay, so we have touched all the options under network object. Let's go to the policy and create about another policy. So this is outgoing access to internet and this is incoming or internal and VPN traffic. So let's go here. So the source, in our second policy is wired client destination printer vlan and service is 91 so that's the benefit if you also put the number in the service then you need to only search it with the number and action is accept and logging of course we want to log it okay and you can give some ticket number that's the best practice to give the ticket number Let's create the third policy, client to server over HTTPS. That's also very simple. Again, it is uh, internal rule. Wired client, tech guru server, HTTPS. Okay, action, accept. Then again, ticket. You can also say like who has created this rule. Santosh Sharma has created this rule. Okay. So we have created two rules, wow. Let's go to the third rule. So the third rule is saying engineering to management. Uh, why I said engineering? Like I would say we have a client VLAN, which is here, uh, this one. And out of this VLAN, I will say like 10, 10, 10, 20 to 30 are our engineers, okay? So let's go here again, objects. Network object, we will say IP range. That starts with 10.10.10.20. Oops. 20. 20. Oh, 20 to 30. And we will say IT admin. Okay. 
so id admin okay what we have to create for them if you go here engineer should be able to go to management vlan okay uh, but they need to access these all the ports you can of course add these many ports to the policy but i would suggest you to create service group that is the best practice so let's create the service group so this is something else another feature you are going to learn so you already know how to create the service now we are going to create this service group so if you have a policy where that policy need to have multiple services it is always recommended to create a group so we will create here for management purpose okay that's it let's add so you have two options new you can also go here and create a new service or you can go here and check if the service is there so we need http and we need https and i would say they should give here search option but they have not given search option so you have here alternative so control f then uh, search here https okay icmp okay let's like ssh just for an example and okay so later on you can add more services in this based upon your requirement so go to access policy and again let's go here and create a wired client want to talk to management network management vlan in management vlan you will be having your network devices like firewall your switch so you may want to access them over http https or you want to take ssh of them so search here the group it admin and that's it you give here ticket and sharma has created it fly last thing a bonus let's see how to create a scheduled policy okay so this is facebook uh, but what i want to say apply only during if you are having lunch at 12 30 pm to 1 30 pm I would say them okay enjoy Facebook application I can also limit the download traffic of application I can also limit the upload these things you can use if you are going to allow Google Drive OneDrive if they are going to upload something or if they are going to download something it is independent of Facebook as a service you can select here another service maybe that need these two options but in our case I think this is enough option so this is all about your firewall policy another thing that you can do under firewall is go to server add new server suppose web server next give the ip and the name of server i would say sonata next so this server is accessible from which zone you can say okay lan guys can access it remote vpn sites can access it okay ping to servers allow access to the server using icmp logging traffic to the server log blocked connection if somebody is not allowed to access the server i want to have logging that's the meaning of this one you can hide behind the gateway which is again netting concept i have to discuss this in detail because there are multiple scenarios that i want to share with you like i have shared you multiple scenarios in the firewall policy so we will touch this differently no nat for now and finish so this is your server it also has now the policy so you can see it got the policy here auto generated rules vpn to sonata any to sonata this is wonderful they have created a wizard for the server so you just go add your server and mention from where you want your server to be accessed if it should be behind nat or not that's really awesome i haven't found at least this wizard option in another firewalls so that's it so i think we have learned a lot today in next video i will explain you netting in detail with different different scenarios i hope you like this video please share this video with your friends press on subscribe option let's meet in the next video